guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent, Alex's Path. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it, guys. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes. Let me entertain you and let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you're up and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> you can say this you can see the cave entrance and an outpost nearby. Where do you want to go? Let's go to the outpost. You headed towards the outpost. You can see Max there chatting with another guard by the post. Max! Cassian, hey! What are you doing? Well, I was talking to the guards to see if they caught anything suspicious. You see, the place has been infested with slime creatures for a while now. I was checking in with the guards to see if one such thing escaped from here that day. Ah, so the cave is full of those things? Yeah, more or less so. They're a byproduct of the elemental debris from crystal mining. Are they that dangerous? Hmm, not necessarily. I'd say they're more akin to pests, usually harmless, but when they congregated, they managed to drive out the miners and force them to open up the new place. That's unfortunate, but why did they just seal this cave off then? That's because we still use it to throw away our trash. These slimes eat the trash and turn whatever inside into reusable organic matter. Oh, now that you mention it, I've always wondered where all the trash from the city went to. This is very neat, all right. It is, but once in a while, people must come by to cull the population. Too much of them and they might flood out from the cave and harm passers-by, or even start invading smaller towns and settlements. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, by the way, I finished a request. Really? That's great, Cassian. What did that entail? Well, I pretty much climbed a tree by the beach to save someone's cat, lizard, pet thing. Ah, I think I might have seen that one. So you've saved a croat, huh? Not bad at all. Those little things are pretty hard to deal with. Well, what I mean is, it probably wouldn't listen to anybody's command even if you're the owner. True, it was rough trying to get it to come with me until I'd learned its name from the owner, which I pretty much forgot by now. I mean, climbing the tree was definitely scarier, though. Heh, <laughs> but you, managed to st you still managed to do it, didn't you? That's all that matters. Besides, most mercs probably ignored this because they had more important things to do, but you decided to risk your livelihood to save something dear to a stranger. That's exactly a step in the right direction. I'm proud of you, Cassian. Thanks, Max. That means the world to me. So, anything I can help you with? Hmm, probably not. I know you're eager from that. I know you're eager from that feat, but I've got this place under control for now. I'll investigate the cave a bit later, as usual. You should go. We'll catch up with the others, Cassian. Uh, okay, then I'll see you later, Max. See ya. Stay safe now. It seems that you're done here. Better go back to the guild then. He patrolled around the city a bit more before going back to the guild and met the others at the Sky Garden. You could see the others already gathered at the place Alex specified. Max was talking to Ray, Cody seemed pensive, uh, as pensive as ever, while Alex himself was tinkering with his gadgets as always. Good evening, guys. Them boys. Ah, Cassian, you're back. How was your first official day as a mercenary? It was good, I guess. I just got, I got heckled a lot whenever I entered a high security location. Well, that might be because you need to wear the guild's badge. Uh, probably, but that one guy at the Crystal Park did recognize me as a guild person. They all just said something about needing a permit to be around those places. I doubt he'd mess with you again after today. But now that I think about it, yeah, you probably do need a permit to be let in on, on your own. I see. Don't worry, Cassian, I'll get those for you tomorrow. Doing, along with some other gear. Oh, alright, sounds good. Well, what else did you do, Cassian? Took any requests? Yep, I completed my first request. Someone at the beach got their pet stuck up a tall palm tree, and so I got up there and saved it. I don't know why most people seem to bother with it. Oh, that commotion, huh? Truth be told, this wasn't the first time they got their croats stuck up that tree. Probably won't be the last, either. I could see why everyone just kind of ignored the request. I guess, but what if nobody took look, took it took it at all? Would the poor thing just be... Oh, this is... We've been having some... What a silverfish over here lately. Okay. Move, you little shit. Okay. I guess, but what if nobody took it at all? Would the poor thing just be stuck there for days and nights? That doesn't sit right with me. I think the owner just got paranoid, Cassian. I've seen the pet getting up the thing I've seen the pet getting up at weird places and still managed to get down sometime later. See? So it's not exactly a big deal. Nah, don't say that, Alex. Even if what you said about the crow is true, it's still a good thing you took that request, Cassian. Giving that owner a peace of mind is still a big deal. Yeah, I agree. That person must have been thankful afterwards, which is always nice. Well, nice job, Cassian. Today's saving pets and tomorrow's saving the world. Well, thanks, Ray. He's still calling you that? What, Ray? I don't mind. It fits my name better anyway. So we're calling you Ray instead of Rye now. 
You don't have to. I mean, it's totally up to you guys. Since when did you guys call him that? Cody was the first to call him that. Call him that way. We just kind of followed along. Huh? What? Why me? I mean, <sighs> sure, I called him Rye when we first met. I just didn't know how to pronounce his name. Really? Why is that? He probably just got confused between Svobodian and common pronunciation rules. Alex, please! I've made a fool of myself enough already! Now, now, it's fine, guys. Both Rye and Ray are fine. Let's go with whatever suits you best. I'll just stick to Rye. Yeah, hard to beat a force of habit at this point. Yeah, same, I guess. All right, then. Huh. So, you guys hungry? I'll take, uh, I'll take some food from the tavern. That'd be appreciated, Cody. Thanks. Uh-huh. You guys wait here. Cody left his seat and went on his way. Hmm. 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 Uh, so, how are you guys? Eh, the Guardian Crystal is fine. Could be better, could be worse. Nothing unusual at the beach, as you might have heard. The old mine is safe, too. We spent the afternoon keeping the slime population in check. Hmm, good. Good. Hmm. 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 Cody seems kind of unmotivated, don't you think? I bet he is. He's way out of his comfort zone. You think I'm not out of my comfort zone? Well, you too, but at least you've still got some interest in the work. It's been a while since Cody wore his armor. I think he's getting too comfortable with doing just kitchen stuff now. Hey, whatever makes him happy, man. Yeah, but the Guildmaster expected us to go as a team. Really? I don't recall him saying that at all. Well, maybe not verbatim, but he was implying that we should work as a team, so here we are. It's okay, just give him some time. I think Cody will come back around and we can have fun again, just like we used to. Fun? Really, Rye? Is that all you ever think about? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Whatever. I'm not even mad. I'm just a bit disappointed. You sighed to yourself as everybody fell silent for a long time until Cody returned with the food. He did look quite happier, at least. Here you go, guys. Some stew I made. Sorry for the wait. Thanks, Cody. These look delicious. You seem to be in a better mood, Cody. Well, cooking always makes me happy. You've always looked happy when cooking, even back then. I guess that means I'm a cook at heart, eh? Alex quickly grabbed a bowl and poured some stew for himself as Cody set the pot on the table. Ha! Ah, finally some good fucking food. Where have I heard that from before? Ha! Ah, there, there, there! Slow down or you'll choke! You heard the man. Better save the choking for something else. Ha! Ha ha What the heck, Rye? Easy, guys. You're gonna suffocate him. With soup. <laughs> The atmosphere felt lighter again as the boys joined in on the meal and chatted away, sharing some of the moments they had during the day. He felt relieved seeing them like so, and Cody's delicious food surely helped. You couldn't help, you couldn't help wondering what might have happened between them in the past, but you kept but you kept the thought to yourself. Suddenly bringing this up would just sour everyone's mood. Eventually, it was time for everyone to say goodbye and part the and part ways. Alex also accompanied you back to your room. It's very unusual for him to accompany you here. In fact, this is probably the first time he's escorting you to your room. You both remained silent the whole way through, at least until you arrived at the door. Well, thanks for today, Alex. Sure thing. Well, good night. Good night, Cassian. Don't forget, if you want to learn some magic, meet me back at the lab. I'd like to run some tests on you, too. I will. See you at the lab. See ya. Uh-huh. See ya. And with that, he's gone. He cleaned up and prepared to go to bed. Having walked around the city all day long, you were already exhausted and fell asleep before your body even hit the bed. Alright, a day going around with Alex. Impossible. What are the odds? An empty vessel. Mistake. Lapse in my judgment. Nay, inconceivable. Ooh. Bah! Ah. You spent a moment rubbing your head and temples to ease the headache. You had what felt like a quite a normal dream, but before everything just seemed to fall apart as you found yourself among the ruined hallway, the disembodied voice that plagued your mind felt familiar, though you couldn't discern who it was. You felt like it was talking to you, but at the same time just quietly lamenting to itself. Though before you could speak up, the illusion shattered as you were abruptly thrust back into reality. And you just sat there on your bed, still wondering about, about what it all meant. 
Beep, beep. Hmm? You notice your new phone flashing and beeping briefly. You open it up to see a message from Max asking everyone to group up at, by the lobby. You went through your morning routine before heading off when the device blinked again. It's a new message from Alex. Good morning, Cassian. I hope you've had ample rest last night. I'll be counting on your assistance again today, so please go out with me. I'll talk to Max about whatever he, we plan for today. It seemed Alex required your presence once again, except... Wait, did he just ask me out? I guess I'll ask him about it later. He headed to the lobby after a moment. You could see the others already there when you arrived. Good morning, guys! Good morning, Cassian. I prepared something good for you. Max, surely by I you mean we, right? Heh. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. Well, Cassian, <clears throat> we got you something. Here. Who are these? Indeed, your official guild uniform, outfitted with the badge. That looks really neat. Yeah, I know, right? I tried adding crystals attuned to you based on the data I've gathered. Don't try to use them yet, though, and you might hurt yourself. Well, what are we waiting for, Cassian? Try it on. Oh, wrong voice. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. Thanks again, guys. I'll be right back. You return to your room to put the new outfit on before returning to the lobby. I'm back! Welcome back. So, what do you guys think? Oh, it fits you quite well, Cassian. Now I'm falling for you even more. Huh, it looks good on you, Cassian. It doesn't look half bad, true. Keep it well, though. It's quite costly. Yeah, don't worry, Alex, I promise. Well, now that that's settled, thanks for coming here again, guys. How's everyone do? Just cut to the chase, Max. What tasks do you need for us today? Right, right. So today I want all of us to work together on, investiga on the investigation again. Again? I thought yesterday was the last one. You think, but truth to the matter is that we haven't got a single clue nor lead on who the culprit could be. Are the others on the case too? Can't we just, you know, I don't know, do our things and get on with our days? And what would we do? In the and what would that be, Rye? I don't know. For me, it's running errands and requests. Cooking! Researching. I see. Well, we've sworn our loyalty to the guild, yes? So it's only appropriate to fulfill the guildmaster's request that, the, that that is the investigation. Whatever. Just give us the assignment so I can go back to my lab. Right. So, Rye. Yeah? You go to the market. Sure. I was gonna go there anyway, but needing more fertilizer for my garden. Do not get distracted, though. Remember your objective. Yeah, yeah, I'll be focusing as much as I can. Yes, sir. And Cody. Huh? You'll be going to the beach. All right, but what for? Just ask around. Maybe someone might know something. Come by the harbor as well, in case your attacker came from one of the ships. Right, okay, then. As for you, Alex. I know, I'll go to Vitrum Park again. I still need some more data from the Guardian Crystal. I was gonna say the old mines, but I guess you can continue your test at the park as well. But of course. Well, regardless, I appreciate the enthusiasm, Alex. Is that so? Better give me a pat on the back then. How about something else on the how about something else on the back? Right. Yeah? Just just do your work, alright? I will. I will. Alright, as for you, Cassian. Uh, yeah? You'll be going with <clears> Hmm? <throat> you got something to say, Alex? Yes, so I'll be needing Cassian to tag along with me this time. Is that so? What for, though? I was thinking of training him today. Well, you do know that a mercenary requires both his brawn and brain to excel, no? I can take care of both of that, so Cassian should be in safe hands. You're going to train him, Alex? Both body and mind, yes. Sounds like fun. Hmm, okay, if you insist, just make sure to train him well. And do be careful, yeah? I don't want anything happening to him or you. Of course, you have my word, Max. And Cassian, whichever request you decide to take, I'll be lending a hand as well. All right, thanks, Alex. I guess that settles that then. Stay safe, Cassian. Call me on the phone if you need any help. Hardly necessary, but the sentiment is appreciated. Thanks, Max. What the f <laughs> um, Max, you want got something you want to tell us? Max just randomly, <laughs> Max just randomly rips his shirt off. <laughs> Oh, I love it! It's so good! It's so perfect! You're welcome. I'll be on my way to the park now. Good hunting, guys. You're dismissed. Huh! Right! Let's get this over with, then. I guess I'd better go as well. Ah, oh, that's right. 
One more thing, everyone. Head to my lab tonight after you're done with your thing. Oh, you're hosting a slumber party, Alex? Festin would love that, you know. You wish? Anyways, I'd like to test something with Cassian. You guys might want to see it, too. Hmm, okay, we'll be there. Sure. Yeah, not like I got a better places to be. <laughs> Are you alright, Rai? Yeah, I'm good. I should go. See you. See you when I see you. And with that, the guys went on their separate ways. Hmm. Well, let's finish up whatever you're doing here so we can move on with my tasks, Cassian. Lead the way. Alright. <gasps> we go to the library this time? Let's go to the library. Save it right here. Go to the library. Alright. I think you can go to the library with Alex. I don't think you can go with anyone else. Let's see. Quest board, see what we got for requests first. There's some requests available. I need help moving things. Can you help me? I'll be at the market. Yes. Help! Some slime slipped through the old mine's entrance and are wreaking havoc on the supply sheds. You want to take it? Yes. All right. Library. You headed to the guild's library. Alex seemed rather taken aback at the sight of it. Been a while, huh? You okay, Alex? Yeah, it, it's nothing. Actually, Cassian, do you actually frequent the public library? Um, no, not really. I do see it a few times when I first got here last week, but I've never really got the time to visit. They do have quite the selection of books here. But of course, you put in the words for them to maintain the library at least decently. Though I can't say the same about the book variety these days. Anyhow, just do your thing. I'll be looking around some as well. Just don't spend the entire day in there. R right, I won't. Oh, I thought he would have I thought he would like going in there. He haphazardly picked a random book from the shelf. This one reads Introduction to the Flora and Fauna of Central Woodland. Quite curious about the title, you decided to skim through the first few pages. The book prefaced that while the old continent is rather temperate as such, offered a lot of sprawling woodland. Though the one though the though the one though the one the book is chiefly focusing on is the rather mysterious region Kaltir of West Gallant. The name Kaltir, short for Kalik Kotir, meaning Kalik Woodland, was described as an even denser forest, somehow shrouded in vegetation all year long. The locals were described as a friendly yet eccentric bunch often seen partaking in what were often regarded as voodoo rituals and worship of the deity of nature. Most of the entries in, most of the entries in this book are said to have been first-hand accounts of the said Kaltir locals. It makes sense that they are most knowledgeable about those things, after all. The actual subject of the book kind of went over your head as you, quip, as you went through the various encyclopedia-like entries. Some of the creatures and plants seem similar to you, seem similar to the ones you remember seeing with Alyssa, though. You decided to take a break from reading for now. Go to okay. Let's, uh, we got time for the gym. I think we should have some time for the gym. Decided to head to the vacant training room. Let's do agility. I'm more agile now. Let's uh, also do agility. Yes, agility. Yes. All right. Getting more agile, and then we'll do some strength. Nice. That's all I can do here for now. Probably should check my phone and see how the others are. I guess let's see what Alex is up to. Ring! Huh? Is your phone broken? Cassian, why are you calling me? I just wanted to test something out. Right. I'm gonna pause it right there. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty! Awesome. I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!